Hello everyone, welcome to the Digital System Architecture Practical Series. In today's session, we'll be studying the designing of 4-bit comparator. So, first let us see the truth table. So, this is the truth table. We'll be uh, executing this. So, we have two inputs A, B and three outputs Y0, Y1, Y2. Now, this input A, B, we have divided into two parts. That is A1, A0 and B into B1, B0. So, we have this two binary digits which we are comparing. So A0, A1 is compared with B1, B0. So let us see how it works. So in the first case, the first row, we have A0, A1 as 00, 0 and B1, B0 as 00, 0 and 00, 0 decimal is 0. So both are 00, 0 A and B both are 00. 0 so both are equal. So now Y2 will be high and rest all will be 0. Rest two inputs will be, uh, outputs will be 0. Now in the next case, we have uh, A0, A1 as 00, 0 and b0 b1 as 0 1 so now 0 1 is 1 and 0 0 is 0 so in this case b is greater so this in, in this case we have y0 as 1 and y1 y2 will be 0 so whatever uh, the comparison when we are doing there will be three cases either a will be smaller a will be greater or a will be equal to b so whenever a is less than b y0 will be high when a is greater than b y1 will be high and when a is equal to b y2 will be high so for a less than b y0 is high in this case now let's see the third case where we have a is greater than 0 so in this case we have a 0 1 and b 0 0 so 0 1 means a is greater than b so 0 1 is 1 0 0 is 0 so in this case y1 will be high because for that per for this case a is greater than b now in order to design the circuit we need uh, to draw three k maps one for y0 another for y1 and for y2 so, so this is the kmf for y0 so here we have two pairs and a chord so the equation of uh, two pairs and chord is this one so a1 bar b1 is the equation for chord and the rest two a0 bar b1 b0 or a1 bar a0 bar b0 is the equation of the pairs and then for y1 we have this uh, k th this is what the kmf we have so there are two pairs and one quad and this is the equation of that particular k map then finally for y2 we have this uh, and uh, if we solve this we get y2 equal to a1 x nor b1 and a0 x nor b0 so i have solved this i am sharing the pdf the link for the pdf is in the description section of the video you can download from there i have explained this why we are getting this part so when we solve we'll get this output so now let us uh, design the circuit using simul ide so now we are into the simul ide so first let us select the fixed voltage supply okay. then we need to rotate this clockwise then we also need a NOT gate so we get the NOT gate here we get this gates and we take the buffer and of course double click on the buffer and invert output so it becomes a NOT gate and again we rotate this also by clockwise so here we have this now why I am doing this is because we need one of the line for A1 A0 B1 B0 then we also have A1 bar B1 bar B0 bar and B uh, B1 bar B0 bar. so we need this so I'll just do one thing and just so very first thing we do is this part okay we copy this and paste so we have this we need four okay. so this is for a1 a0 then this is for b1 and this is for b0 so this is we do this now next to avoid any confusion we can add some add some text so that we know what uh, input and uh, input we are selecting so here i just select the text and in this text i just uh, name it as a uh, a1 so this a1 i put it here so this is my a1 so i know what i am connecting next we need one more text so here we take another text double click and here this is our a0 this is a0 okay i put it this a0 here and similarly we do for 
B1 and B0 in the same way. Now we design the circuit. We already have the inputs. So we need three outputs Y0, Y1, Y2. So I'll just go fast forward. You can also see the circuit. It will take some time. So be careful while designing the circuit. Okay. So let us design. Now after implementing we will uh, check the working I also uh, introduce your text so that we know what output we are getting so this probe will glow in case if a is less than b this when a is greater than b and this when a is equal to b so let us start it so when we turn it on both are 0 0 so a1 a0 and b1 b0 both are 0 0 so this is the condition where both are equal now let us make a uh, b greater than a few conditions let us check so I'm making b as 1 so a is 0 0 and b is 1 0 so b is greater so as you can see b is greater so this uh, this particular probe, probe will glow let us make it as 1 1 again a is actually 
0 0 and B is 1 1 so again B is greater than A now let us check some conditions where A is greater so I'll just make it this as 0 0 now in this case A is 1 0 and B is 0 0 so A is greater so this probe is glowing so again you can see again A is greater than B so this probe is glowing and if we make all as 1 1 we can see both are equal so A1 A0 and B1 B0 both are equal so this probe is glowing so this is how you can check all the input conditions from 0 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 and we can check the working of this particular circuit so that's all for this particular session do join us for the next video thanks for watching